Hi everyone, this is Julia with GR Couponer, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to online shop at CVS. I'm going to be going over some tips and tricks to make your online shopping easier. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and follow us on Instagram. Um, we're really sad that we haven't been able to make as many videos as we normally do, um, but hopefully once this quarantine and everything is over, we will be able to go back to CVS and get some more videos for you guys. Um, and if you want to see how we are online shopping on our orders that we're doing, please leave a comment down below. We'd be happy to share those with you. So in this video, I'll be going over what shopping in-store versus shopping online looks like because there are a few differences. I'll be making sure that you are able to earn extra care bucks with your order because it is, again, different online than in-store. I will show you guys how to earn free shipping, how to keep your out-of-pocket low, answering some questions that you may have, and I will be going over some general tips. The first suggestion that I have for you guys is to make sure you check your limits. Um, so many of you may already know that for each item that you purchase at CVS, it is a limit of two while you're online shopping, but there is a way to get around this. So as you can see in the photo that I have in the top right, um, I wanted to get two different kinds of Dove body washes. Um, and if there was an extra care buck deal attached to this, it would be applicable this way. So I wanted to make sure I got four. Let's say it's a buy four, get a $5 extra care buck on these Dove body washes. Now, obviously, I can't go and add four of the pomegranate body washes. So instead, I added two of the pomegranates and two of the shower foams. So I would still need to spend buy four, get back a $5 extra care buck, but I will be using um, two different scents. So that is one way that you can get around the limits, especially if it's a buy four, get five, like I just described. Now I want to talk about the in-store versus online shopping. So there are a few differences, um, as I've stated, between in-store and online shopping. The first thing is that online purchases do not track the same as in-store. So what I mean by this is that when you're spending, have a spend extra care buck, so in the middle I have here, if the deal is spend $12 on certain cosmetics and get back a $4 extra care buck, you must spend that $12 after all coupons. Now, I've tested this multiple ways. I've used purchase-based CRTs. I've used specific product CRTs. I've used manufacturer coupons. And in each and every scenario, I had to spend $12 after all coupons to earn that extra care buck. And in a couple of slides, I will be showing you how to make sure you know if you're extra care bucks will be earned with your transaction. Um, and another tip is if the deal is a buy two, get back $5, it is the same as in store. Um, and they do, you will have to do that in one transaction. I haven't tested it out doing it over multiple, but just to keep it safe, do it in one transaction if you can. Especially because a lot of items go out of stock very quickly. The next thing that I'll be going over is how to make sure you know your tracking toward extra care bucks. So what you complete, once you complete your basket, you want to go to the basket page and to see if you earn your extra care bucks. So there's a little, um, little tab underneath each item that you buy and it says count towards extra care bucks. If you click on that, these menus will pop up. So these are two different scenarios that I had. So I chose a couple of items for the cash card. Um, I chose two items. And it showed that I had 1402 more to unlock the extra care buck. So you'll see in the first photo that it says it's a locked deal. That means that I do have some tracking, but I don't have it. I will not be earning it in this order. And in the second one, I added all four items. And it says, good news, with this order, you will you are on track to earn this reward. So as you can see, it says that I will this order will earn the $10 extra care buck reward. And it is on track to earn the reward. Um, so this is one way that you can check to make sure that what you are buying will track toward extra care bucks. Now, a question you might have is, well, if I have multiple items tracking toward the same extra care buck, will each of them show individually how much they track? And the answer to that is no. So if you have four different products and they're all tracking toward the cash card, whichever one you click on um, will show all, your entire basket's worth of extra care bucks. If you have any questions on that, leave that down below. I know that might be confusing, but just as an overall, when you click on that, does this count toward extra care bucks button? It shows it for your entire basket, not just that specific item. Another question that you might have is, do these 
Uh, the, does the 98% rule still apply online? And no, it does not. So in the first scenario here, you'll see that I have 1402 more to unlock. And let's say I had $14 worth of products that I wanted to add to my cash card order. Um, it will still be two cents away. It does. It will not give you that $10 reward um, for that purchase. So that is definitely something that you want to keep in mind when you are adding items to your cart. Another thing I want to go over is extra care buck limits. So while most deals are limit one anyway, some makeup deals are limit three or limit six, like Revlon or Alme or L'Oreal, those kind of things. Um, so I just want to go over, so what we've earned, from what I've ordered so far, the limits in the ad are the same as online. Now, I'm just going to jump back for a second. You'll notice at the bottom right-hand corner of the photos that it says limit one per card. Um, so this says it for every single extra care buck that is in your order, even if the limit in the ad says three or six. But I've noticed that if you order multiple sets at the same time, you will still receive the extra care bucks. The extra care bucks do get added to your account once your item has shipped. Um, so for an example, I ordered two sets of Maybelline Cosmetics last week. I ordered two eyeshadows in one set and an eyeshadow and some eyebrow pencils in the next set. They shipped on different days, but I received two different $6 extra care bucks for my purchase, even though that limit on the bottom said limit one per card. So again, this is something that we'll have to test out and see if it does work over time. But as of right now, the limits in the ad are the same as the limits online. So another thing that you might be wondering is, how do I use CRTs? Um, so just first and foremost, many of us probably haven't been in store the past few weeks anyway. So you'll want to send all of your CRTs to your card on Sunday, just to make sure that you're not missing out any great savings. Um, and if the CRTs that it has been printed, you can still use this online. So I have this example on the bottom right. Um, so I know it does say on card for the last one, but if that said printed, you can hit the show details button that's highlighted in yellow. The tab on the right will, will pop up and you'll see that I highlighted the sequence number. That number is what you will use in the box above the add your coupon code. And this will um, automatically take off whatever that CRT is if it is applicable to your order. You could tell if that coupon came off by clicking the saving red savings tab under each item. Um, and it will show you that you did use that CRT. Um, this does not work for manufacturer coupons. That automatically applies to your order. Um, and I'm not really sure of a way that you can unapply the savings. Um, so if you are hesitant and you don't want to use purchase-based CRTs because it will affect how many um, extra pair of bucks you will earn, just make sure you use to only send them when you need to and not at the beginning. So how to use extra care bucks? You'll see it's fairly easy on the bottom right hand corner of the basket page. You will be able to apply the extra care bucks that you want. So another difference between in-store and online is that the extra care bucks do not auto adjust down to the pennies of your order. So for example, if you're buying one item at $9.99 and you wanna use a $10 extra care buck, you will not be able to. Your order must be $10 or more. I have tested this and this is true. This is very similar to the 98% rule. And just like in store, extra care bucks do not cover tax. Um, so you want to keep that in mind when looking at your order. The next thing is how to get free shipping. So in this time, CarePass will be your best friend. So hopefully you guys are signed up for CarePass. So as soon as you have at least one item in your cart with this logo to the left here, you will automatically get free shipping for your entire order. Um, so items include like paparazzi is a pretty common one where all of the items um, do ship free with CarePass. I noticed too that a lot of makeup items also have the logo ship free with CarePass. And again, you must already have CarePass for this to apply. And I'm almost positive you have to go in store um, to sign up for CarePass. So that is something you want to keep in mind. If you don't have CarePass, it is going to be a little bit harder for you to get free shipping. Um, if you can see on the photo on the left, it says or with 35 plus orders. So that is after extra care bucks. So if you don't have any items um, that ship free with CarePass in your cart, or if you don't have CarePass at all, you will need to spend that $35 out of pocket. 
Um, so again, this is where I suggest that if you don't really need anything and you don't have Care Pass, maybe don't order it. Um, if you're already running to CVS anyway, use those expiring extra care bucks then. But again, this is something to think about because shipping will eat a dent into your savings. So I have a few tips to keep your out-of-pocket low. So add items to your cart that are various cent amounts. So I have an example here. Um, let's say I want to buy $10 worth of Wet n Wild. You have to make sure you hit that $10 or go above it in order to meet that extra care box threshold. So a lot of you might want to be like, oh, I want to buy two products for $4.99. This will only bring you to $9.98. First of all, you won't be able to meet your extra care box threshold. And second, you won't be able to use an extra care box um, close enough on that order. So for my suggestion, I say to buy an item for $1.39 and for um, $8.69. These two total will total $10.08. So you will earn that extra care buck. You will be able to use a $10 extra care buck um, on your order. So that means you will only be paying $0.08 cents out of pocket. Um, you can use this through a credit card or a gift card. And then you will still earn that extra care buck back. Um, so doing this, I was able to get one of my totals down to one penny last week. I charged my credit card for one penny, which kind of seems ridiculous. But I was able to get a ton of stuff um, for one penny. So that's pretty awesome. The next thing that I have is some common questions that you might have. Um, so the first one being, when when will I receive my extra care box? Your extra care box will be added into your account once the item has shipped. Um, and I have had multiple shipments. Even if you order this a lot of items on the same day, they might ship at different days. Um, so I have received all of my extra care box once the items have shipped. Can I still use purchase based CRTs in my order and track toward extra care box? So that, yes, you can. You just have to make sure that you're checking to see if you track toward that ACB. Um, so again, I don't suggest using purchase-based CRTs for spend um, extra care bucks, so spend 12, get four, but you can most certainly use it on um, buy two, get a $5 extra care buck, and you have a three off of two CRT, that's great. Um, just be cognizant and make sure that you are on track to earn those extra care bucks. Will I still earn beauty bucks for my purchases? Yes, you will. The value of the items track once your order has shipped. So I have earned multiple beauty bucks these past few weeks for my purchases, and they do get added to my account after I have earned my extra care bucks for the actual purchase. Can I use gift cards to pay for my purchase? Yes, you can, but there's a catch. So one thing I've noticed is I've tried for the past two weeks to use my cash cards earned in early March. For some reason, the CVS online system will not recognize this as a gift card, even though the cash card does say you can use it in store or online. Um, but just because this isn't working for me, that does not mean it won't work for you. Um, and it does mean that you can't try. So definitely try that. Um, if you do have gift cards um, or money cards at CVS, you should be able to use them online as well. And here are some general tips that I have. Um, again, use purchase based CRTs on items that do not have an extra care buck threshold amount. Use expiring extra care bucks first. This is really important. Um, I do know that CVS now extended their expiration date, but we don't know what the next few months are going to look like. So if you are ordering online, use those expiring extra care bucks first. And one suggestion that I have is to use those from largest to smallest. Once you use small extra care bucks, it's really hard to get another transaction with a large total, especially if you're trying to roll extra care bucks. Um, so just trying to do this will um, not only help you roll your extra care bucks easier, but also make it hassle-free at checkout. Um, another thing that I have is to send all of your extra care bucks um, to your card once they earned them online. So I just got a shipment three days ago from, from um, CVS, and I went onto my account today, and I noticed that my extra care bucks were expiring tomorrow. So obviously, that's unrealistic. You wouldn't earn it three days before and they would expire three days after. So I did hit the send to card button and it extended my extra care bucks for an entire month. So that was really great. Um, so you make sure you wanna do that. Once you have your order um, in your home, just make sure you're checking your account and sending those extra care bucks to your account. Make sure you check back for out of stock items in the middle of the week. This tends to be when they do restock, um, either early Sunday morning or midweek, like Wednesday. Um, CVS has now extended their extra care book date. 
Um, so as of April 10th, which I believe is in a few days, um, CVS will be extending their expiration date. I believe it's for a month after. Um, I'm not sure. But again, we don't know what's going to be happening in a month or two from now. So we want to make sure that we are being cognizant of ex expiration dates um, and just keep that in mind. And just everyone, please stress, try to stay healthy and safe. These are really scary times right now, um, especially for loved ones who may have um, illnesses or are predisposed to um, autoimmune disease and things like that. Um, so I think just want to thank you guys so much. That's all I have for you. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at your couponer and hit that subscribe button in the top left or down below. We really appreciate you guys and your support and understanding that during this time we won't be able to go in store. But I promise you, as soon as we are able to go into store, we will be right out there sharing even more deals with you guys. Thanks so much for your support. Stay healthy and safe and happy online shopping.